In this video, we are going to install Open Audio S1, which is a text to speech model locally, and we are going to test it out on various tasks. This model has been trained on 2 million hours of audio data available in two versions, a 4 billion parameter full model and a 0.5 billion parameter mini version. This is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. The architecture of this model is based on Quen3 and I will be talking more about it as we test out this model. But now let's get right into it and start our installation. I am going to use this Ubuntu system and I have this GPU card NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GB of VRAM. Let's start by creating this virtual environment with Conda. The good thing is that Fish Audio has already given us a Docker image in order to get this installed. So make sure that you have latest version of Docker installed. I already have it and if you don't know how to do it, just search my channel as I already have covered that installation in a very simple video. Next up, I am just setting some permissions and then let me download the Docker image of this Fish speech model. Let's wait for it. It is going to download all the layers of that image. While that happens, if you're looking to rent a GPU or VM on a very affordable price, you can find the link to Mast Compute in video's description with a discount coupon code of 50% for range of GPUs. Also, I want to introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are Matrix. Matrix lets you create a realistic world simulator where you can repeat it where you can run repeated simulations as a b tests for your marketing captions that allows marketers to test different angles and strategies and you will find their link in videos description too so while it downloads this let's talk a bit more about the architecture as i said the architecture of this model is based on quen 3 and functions as multi-modal model though only tts capabilities are currently released with audio encoding decoding mm -hmm using a descript audio codec like structure enhanced with transformer the training uses a reward modeling and rlhf with grpo by the way to handle both semantic and isostic information in a unified model that allows it to process emotional and tonal market uh, markers in text like you can even go with angry or whispering uh, emotions for controlled speech synthesis and that is what we are going to test out shortly when it is uh, done installing so image is downloaded next up let's run this i'm going to run it on my local system this image and i'm using all the gpus which is only one as i earlier showed you you can even run it on cpu the smaller one Okay, so it is complaining about that it couldn't find this directory. So let me create this directory now. Uh, this is a bit interesting because what happens is that when you download this, it also downloads um, some fish speech default model, but we don't want to use it. That is why we need to first download the model separately. So let me do that. I'm just going to create this checkpoint directory. Then I'm going to create install my hugging face hub because we need to download the token and the model so you can see it is installed let's log into hugging face let me give it my free read token you can also grab it from huggingface.co and that is also done now next up let's download the model in that directory and instead of the default fish speech model I'm going to download this open audio as one mini from their website and you can see that it is now being downloaded and by the way this is not the first model I'm covering from them so for instance if you go to my channel and search with let's say fish you will see there are a lot of models they have released over the years and I have covered all of them from different angles okay so let's go back and see what is happening almost there Okay, so the model is now uh, downloaded in that directory. Let's mount that as a volume to that container. And I am asking it to run it with that. So it is going to load that model from that mount point, which we have just gave within the container as an external volume. You can see that now it was able to detect the model. So let's wait for it. It should just start servicing this model on our local host. 
at port 7860 you can change the port of course there you go so now it is running at port 7860 okay so let's access it there you go so this is our fish speech uh, fish speech open audio s1 is running here okay so let me make it slight smaller okay that is good i'll just keep it here okay so let's try it out maybe first let me just make this theme dark i'm just going to change in this browser taskbar the theme to dark there you go okay let's do the english one first now the good thing is that this model supports multi languages and that is what i'm going to test out like chinese japanese and few other languages so first up let's try the english and i'm also doing this expression of excited let's generate let's also check the vram consumption in real time so it is consuming over 5 gig of vram which is not bad at all okay let's close this uh, maybe normally what happens is when i play the audio in this vm the quality is not good but let me try otherwise i'll download and play it in my browser okay you can't hear it let me download it properly and let me play this audio now hello there welcome to the amazing world of ai powered speech synthesis so you see there is an excitement um tinge of excitement by the way next i'm going to test out the japanese one it's a polite and if you are the speaker of that language please also tell us in the comments if you think this is good or not there you go let me download it and play こんにちは。AI4整合性の世界へようこそ。とても素晴らしい技術ですね。こんにちは。AI4整合性の世界へようこそ。とても素晴らしい技術ですね。What do you think? I think it looks good to me. Now instead of doing it one by one, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to give it this whole big paragraph with many languages, many emotions, and then let's see if it is able to do that. So let's generate this and by the way you can set some of the parameters of generation and output but I'm just going to go with the default ones. Let's wait for it to finish and then I will play it. And it contains many languages from across the world. And the languages include English, Chinese, Japanese, German, French, Spanish, Korean, Arabic, Russian, Dutch, Italian, Polish and portuguese and this paragraph includes all of those after this i'm just going to check few other languages like hindi urdu maybe persian so highly let's see if it can do that or not okay so that is completed it's a 56 minute long audio let me play that for you in the browser and then i will display the text Hello everyone, welcome to this incredible multilingual demonstration. Hi, Hadi Taknir Raya Tejma Bain Lugat Muktelfe Bisuhula. Privet Druzia, Eta Munoga Yazichna Demonstratse Prosta Potresa Ishue. Hallo Alamal, Dizemer Taliga AI Technologi is echt fantastisch. Shawa Tutti, Questa Demonstratione Multilingue Esolutamente Incredibile. Cest Frisse, Tavielo Yenzichna Technologia AI is Napravde Fascinuyonza. Ola Pesual, Esta Demonstration Multilingue Com AI e Verdaderamente Spectacular. Pretty good. I thought maybe I was just, uh, you know, sitting on an airport where they were just announcing in different languages. Anyway, this looks pretty good to me. Okay, now let's try out few of the languages which are not mentioned on the model card. So here, as you can see, I am generating this speech from different languages like Hindi, Urdu, Indonesian, and then Swahili, in Persian, Turkish, Polish, and Bengali. So let's see if it is able to do that or not. Okay, let me play this one. Namaste, dosto. Ya bahubashi pradarshan vasta mema adbut hai. Salam alikum dosto. Ye kathir lasani technology wa kai shandar hai. 
Hujambo rafiki zanga. Teknolojia hii ya lugha nyingi ni ya ajabu sana. Hello teman teman. Demonstrasi multibahasa ini benar benar luar biasa. Elegant understand. I don't think so and I think it is not even going with a different emotion. It has just started with excited and staying with it. So it really doesn't cutting it through anyway. So I'll, I have just stopped it. I think it was too much for my ears. And one more thing, um, though their code which, or code which they have shared on their repo is free uh, and open source Apache 2, I believe, but the model is not. You cannot really use it for commercial purposes. It's quite restrictive license. And you also have to accept the term and condition on GitHub. Also, I think you can also do some sort of voice cloning. For that, you can grab some audio from here. Maybe you can also give it some reference text like this. And then maybe I'll just select an audio from my local system. I'm just going to go with this. Uh, maybe I will just select an audio. I'm just checking this one. Maybe I'll just go with this. It's a JFK voice anyway. So let me see if it can say this text in this voice. I'll just generate it to see how it goes. Okay, so while it generates that um, speech from text, let me play the reference audio for you so that we could compare. Please subscribe to the channel. This is Fad Mirza. Please subscribe to the channel. Okay, let's see if it is able to clone this voice in this text and that is done let me play this for you i'll just take you to the browser and play it listen up digital wanderers fod mirza's youtube channel is like finding free pizza at 2 a.m absolutely life-changing and guaranteed to make you question all your previous life choices oh and that subscribe button it's not just decoration clicking it actually prevents your phone from judging you for watching tiktok dances at 3 a.m mischievous faster than gossip spreads in a small town because keeping FOD's genius content to yourself is basically a crime against humanity. So see, um, actually this was for you too. Now, I believe that it can really, really clone it quite well, as you just saw, but it doesn't always follow the prompt, especially in terms of the emotions. Maybe when you just give it one or two uh, emotions, like in this one, dramatic was followed, I think sarcastic was followed, but not the rest of those. So anyway, pretty good. I would say not bad at all, but I would take your advice in terms, especially in terms of multilinguality. So let me know if you like the content, please like the video as he said, and share it among your network. And if you haven't already subscribed, please do so. Thank you for very much.